So mobile home flooring is one of our big five repair items. So whenever we fix and flip a mobile home, this is one of the few repairs we never skip over. Yeah, especially when you're fixing and flipping and keeping that mobile home in place. So stay tuned, we're gonna go over four items you do not want to skip over when you're doing your initial floor inspection. And for the best mobile home investing advice, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell, and be notified when we post new videos every week. So we fixed and flipped a lot of mobile homes. And to be honest, uh, the most common repair item that we face is flooring repair. So without further ado, let's hop into item number one. one is soft spots and if you don't know what soft spots are they are a section of the floor that becomes weakened over time this could be due to uh, wear and tear water damage even like the puncturing of some sort of heavy item on the floor it'll actually make that section of the floor kind of soft when you walk over it and then over time that can be a hole in the floor and you don't want to fall through that so what we do is we like to do what we call a soft spot shuffle <laughs> and so we walk all of the entire floor floor back and forth just feeling to see if there's any sections of the flooring that are soft even if it's under vinyl tile you'll be able to feel a little sinkage in the floor if there's a soft spot there hey guys not sure if you can tell but you can see right here is the soft spot so make sure that's where it is absolutely yeah make sure you guys are just walking the floor and just checking for soft spots. Not a big deal, uh, but you want to take note of them. Yeah, but if that soft spot is under vinyl tile that's dated, meaning you can't find it at your local Home Depot or Lowe's, you might think about either taking all the, the, the flooring off in that area as far as the tile, or trying to see if you can go match a piece if it's not dated. Just go to Home Depot Lowe's and try to match it as much as possible. If you're leaving the home in place, this is something that buyers are going to check first. You have to fix these soft spots. Hey guys, so this is another home we just purchased. Um, we're actually gonna move it out of this park to the 55 plus community. Um, instead of doing all the repairs, we're gonna sell it as is. I wanted to show you something here. If you can tell here, this flooring here, uh, it's actually pretty sturdy. It's just the um, tiles aren't necessarily level. But most of the time when the home moves, uh, the tiles are gonna have to be kind of replaced anyway. So this doesn't stop anything. Um, the house is really messy. So if anything, we'll get a uh, deep cleaner in here. Uh, just to let it, you know, show a little bit nicer. There's a lot of stuff kind of left behind. Um, so we'll get a deep cleaner in here and then put the home right back on the market. Today is Friday. We'll hope to have it on the market um, by Saturday afternoon. Inspection item number two is subflooring. And if any of you guys don't know what subflooring is, subflooring is pretty much the layer underneath the carpet or tile that makes the home safe to walk on. You're not just walking from, you know, tile or carpet to ground. Um, with older homes built before 1976, a lot of them were actually built with particle board. Yeah, and so that particle board is not that sturdy and it easily can get damaged from water damage, termites, even molds can get underneath the subfloor and kind of rot it away. So your handyman can fix this and you don't have to fix the entire subfloor of the entire house just because one section is damaged. They can actually cut that section out and replace it with wood or some sort of hardy bathroom saves a material. Lot of money. Yeah, it saves a lot of material and you only fix the section of the subfloor that needs to be fixed. Item number three is smelly and worn carpet. Now, a lot of the homes that you're gonna buy, the sellers actually own pets. We're talking dogs 
and cats and Samira over time we know pets like to pee in the house <laughs> so what happens over time to those um, odors that are trapped in the carpet and even underneath the carpet yeah they're terrible they're <laughs> absolutely terrible they fill up the entire house and especially when people move their furniture out those smells just they just go even more <laughs> into the home you also get bad smells from smoke smell if someone um, smokes or you know sometimes if they're just dirty it'll the carpet will smell so what you want to do is you want to definitely pull that carpet out of the house get it out of there because you will not be able to get that uh, smell out of the house until the carpet's gone and sometimes it even goes all the way to the subfloor so you have to treat the subfloor before you replace the flooring yeah, and don't be afraid to try to clean the carpet if it you know if it can be salvaged and you can save that time and hassle sometimes a cheap uh, carpet clean can do the trick. Hey guys, are you getting this? We just want to make sure that this is pretty basic. You're getting these inspection tips. If you are, please comment I got it below so we know that this is getting to you. is mold and mildew and this is something you definitely don't want to cover up or ignore because mold is a health hazard and so you want to make sure the home that you're going to be selling is safe for your new family um, and so you always want to take care of the mold so where is the most common places you'll find it we usually find mold in the kitchen area and bathroom areas wherever you see you know leaky pipes or you know water damage these are the areas we find mold the most if you do find these uh, health hazards any type of mold whatsoever be alarmed and replace that mold you want to cut out that entire area and replace it with safe material you know we're selling homes we, we know we're being ethical and we're not selling health hazards So now you know our top four flooring repair items whenever we fix and flip a mobile home, but this doesn't mean much if you don't know how to find your next deal. That's why we created Trailer Cash Academy's quick and easy mobile home investing secrets for beginners. In this free web class, you'll learn exactly how to make up to $20,000 this month flipping your first mobile home without any prior experience or without spending over $5,000 on your first deal. You can register for this free web class at the link below this video. of trailer flippers just like you we've started a Facebook community where we share all types of tips and tricks and advice our deals our losses all of that's in this group please join introduce yourself and say hello this video was helpful be sure to subscribe leave us some feedback below and hit the bell button to be notified of videos we post every week thanks so much for watching guys see you later